welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, let's learn about plant diversity. First, let's see some pictures of different kinds of plants and flowers. Here you can see some different kinds of flowers, bushes and trees. And here also you can see various kinds of flowers and beautiful gardens. Now here you can see some examples for different kinds of plants such as Ixora, Grofacelia, Fashionacelia, then what else? Bamboo, Bandura and Tulip. Also, now you can see some pictures of common poisonous plants in Sri Lanka, such as Liangala and Kinihiria. So now, let's talk about the morphological features of flowering plants. Fruits and flowers naturally comes to our mind when we talk about plants. Do all the plants produce flowers? No, every plant doesn't produce flowers. Some plants produce flowers and some doesn't produce flowers. Here you can see some pictures. In these pictures, there are some plants with flowers. And also, there are some plants without flowers. And I hope now it is clear to you that there are plants which produce flowers and that do not produce flowers in our environment. Plants which produce flowers are known as flowering plants and plants which do not produce flowers are known as non-flowering plants. Now here you can see some pictures of flowering plants such as rose, ether, coconut, lotus, gardenia, katarolu, balsam and jasmine. And here also you can see some more examples of flowering plants such as curry leaves, water lily, shoe flower, long beans, sunflower and sun. So now you can see some pictures of non-flowering plants. Cypress, moss, salvinia, cypress, rhinaria, ferns are some examples for non-flowering plants. Then I am going to talk about the main systems in a flowering plant. There are two main systems in a flowering plant. The first one is the root system and the second one is the shoot system. Root system grows under the soil and the shoot system grows above the soil. So now let's talk about the main parts of a flowering plant. Plants are different from each other but they have some common parts such as the tap root, lateral roots, root system, stem, lateral buds, leaves, apical bud, branches, fruits, flowers and also the shoot system. In these two pictures also you can see some parts of a flowering plant. They are flowers, fruits, stem, leaf, buds, primary roots, secondary roots, shoot system and the root system. The tap root is also known as the primary root. Lateral roots are also known as the secondary roots. So our next topic is diversity of the parts of a flowering plant. You may have observed various kinds of plants. Their parts are also different from each other in color, shape, size. In these pictures, you can see some different kinds of roots. They are also different in shape, size and color. So, now you can see some pictures of different kinds of stems. Stems are 
also different from its color, shape and its size. Some stems have thorns and some stems have a thick bark. Likewise, leaves are also different from each other from its color, shape and its size. Flowers are the most beautiful part of a flowering plant. They are also different from its size, shape and its color. Fruits are very tasty, isn't it? Fruits and seeds are also different from each other, from its color, shape and its size. You saw that parts of the plants are also different from each other. So, on next day, let's learn further about the diversity among parts of the plants. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day. Bye!